Hello everyone. I'm starting a couple minutes early. Last time I had a lot of technical problems when I got started. So today we're doing this. And so I started early, so I'm gonna go see we're kind of hanging out. This is more like I was starting so that I didn't have problems. Last time we had a lot of technical problems. But that was my first stream, so that's really okay. You know? So we're gonna be doing this. Oh, it looks so much darker. Hey, Roger, does it look dark to you? Okay. I'm trying to find the balance between it being dark and looking good, but on YouTube, oh, maybe it's my monitor is cold. Huh? Yeah. We're still trying to figure out the lights in life. On my computer monitor, it looks super bright. We might have to go down a little bit. Yep. Can yes. you open that blind over there a little bit? Yes. This makes it intense to work. You have to wait for it to catch up. Hold on, everyone, as I'm adjusting lights. You know, there's one person. Oh, it's going to be bright on my eyes. All right, it looks better, though. Let's see here. How does that look? Does that look better? Brighter? Whew. I need blinders. Well, the camera's adjusting for the lightness is what's happening. This one a little darker after I, like, flooded it with everything. Yeah. It's the camera. Okay, well, this is what we're going to be doing today. There you go. Yeah. Away from you. This is what it'll be today. I'll have to sort the rest of it. I think you just go. I don't know. Well, the camera's adjusting. The light right. is what's How's happening. The, if you put the hand on the t the paper, it ha it gives you a like a shadows. Yeah, well, that's why I was doing it like this before. Okay. Do that. I think that should, that should be alright. This should be okay. Look. Yeah, it takes a second to readjust though. It's kind of what we're waiting on. I need those bounce cards like we saw on the video. Well, maybe we'll see if this is it. I think this is fine. Alright. Now, let's see if it's adjusting itself. The delay is getting me a little bit. I, mm. I think this is fine now. Right? Yeah. It's what it is. Can All I right. try something? Yeah. You're the one Maybe person you watching. Should, you should have this. Is okay. That? Because the you know, studio like a TV studio, don't have any lights on the outside. How's that? Let's see. I'm going to move. This is how I can tell. I'm moving the thing off. Excuse me, people. Whoever gets logged on, we're adjusting some lights. I thought I had it figured out, and then it didn't work out. So we're adjusting some lights, but we're going to get to draw them blue here in a second. And then we'll see. When Patrick moves off the thing, then it'll work. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah, how can you make that drawing going down by moving the camera? I just move it down. Okay, that's good. Yo. Yep. All right, Trevor joined. I have Hiroko and Trevor watching. All right. All right, well, since we're just getting started, I'll be like, we're starting again. I will. We're starting. Welcome. We're going to be drawing Bluey live for the for a YouTube live. My lighting's still a little whack, but that's just what it's going to be now. That's life. Whack lighting. So this is the drawing I did the other day to prepare. Originally, I was going to use this to make like a thumbnail, but I decided just to use actual artwork instead of 
my drawing. Came out pretty good. This is all colored pencil and marker. I learned how to draw Bluey. Yo, Bobby. How you doing, Bobby? I see you there. We're going to be drawing Bluey. You let me know if you have a favorite Bluey character, Bobby, and we'll draw him. I got Bluey. Then I was doing just some sketches. Different. I drew like Sad Bluey. And then I drew like Surprised. And then I drew Bingo. This is like I was going to draw something goofy. But then I ended up not finishing that. And then I drew Sad. So we'll just doodle away today. We're just going to have fun kind of drawing. We're not making a comic per se. We're just kind of drawn characters muffin yeah i love muffin too bobby we'll definitely be drawing some muffin i'm gonna draw bluey first so i have it in the beginning of the video and then we can move on to muffin i like uh do you see the episode where uh muffin uh, became a granny that's uh, that i like that one a lot granny muffin all right, so let's see. Bluey's, mm, yeah, I'll stay like this. I wish I could get my lighting better. I gotta invest in some lighting, I think. Every time I do that, it gets really creepy looking. Dark. All right, well, this is what lighting's gonna be. Hopefully we can see everything. But Bluey's interesting. I'm gonna learn how to draw Bluey, because Bluey's kind of like a big old rectangle with square corners. And then the nose kind of comes out a little bit like another rectangle. Once again, I don't really want to get into instruction on how to draw Bluey, but it just it was fun learning how to draw Bluey because I hadn't really spent time learning how to do it yet. And they have those big eyes. The eyes are always behind the nose. Some big old ears. Maybe I'll make Bluey running. The Bluey cartoon is so much fun. I'm always amazed how funny it is. There's Blue is gonna run, got the big old poofy tail. Yeah, I like Gran Granny's episodes. I like the first one, and then I like the uh, new one with Muffin in season three, but I wasn't so much a fan of Granny's in season two. It was, it was fine, but it lacked the Granny specialness. But that first one, when Bingo's stealing the beans, that's amazing. I'm wearing my beans. Right? So, doing that. So, drawing some bluey here. What are, what are some of everyone else's favorite episodes? Or, let's see, what else do I like? I like, um, I like the one at the beach. Uh, what else I got? Beach. Um... Oh, guys! Okay, so there's so many. They're all. I like the purple underpants episode. This is really fun because it's kind of sweet. Oh, that's good. Makes me want to. I've looked to see if they were like. Uh, oh yeah, camp. Camp's a great, great one. Slipped in my beans. What's the name of the guy, the other character in uh, the camping episode? John Luke. And we get to see, like, future Bluey when she's, like, older. But yeah, Muffin. All right, I kind of just drew a quick one. I'm going to use colored pencils instead of inking this. I don't know, I used to use Corella markers. I have, like, a page for putting underneath with my inking so it doesn't bleed through... Bleed through the page. Yeah, I'm just using Crayola marker. I like these. You can get a lot of different stuff out of the tip. You can go fat and skinny. A little bluey. You know, I think we watched it. I don't even think. I think it was like the double babysitter episode when we learned that Bluey was in fact a girl. We thought he was a boy. Oh, we thought she was a boy. Like the whole first chunk of time. Because she was blue, right? So I really like the idea, the fact that she is a girl. Let's see here. 
She's got big eyeballs. You, do, you, do you know, Bobby, that this whole show is done in Australia? I guess you probably know that because you know those kind of things. And it actually is not a Disney Plus show. It's actually was just made for Australia and then Disney licensed it for Disney Plus. So Disney doesn't really own Bluey at all. It's just, uh, ooh, the eyebrows. Those big old fat eyebrows. I know they're not black, but they're black because I forgot to draw them. Well, this is looking pretty good. It's also interesting when I was learning to draw Bluey characters, they're all kind of the same, just with different patterns. Yeah, exactly, Bobby. We didn't know. What was it? The uncle was like, oh, you're, you're whatever. I don't remember what he said exactly, but something in there. So super fun. I learned about Bluey like a long time ago, and then it wasn't in the U.S. for a little while. And then Disney licensed it for Disney Plus, and then it blew up, and now it's everywhere. We were at Target the other day and saw like all the toys and books and whatever, everything. It was amazing. I'm always happy when I see like a new animated show that's really funny. Get It took it like two years though to get all the uh, stuff out. Is my camera changing focus again? I raised it up really high hoping it would uh, eliminate that focus. Oh yeah, yeah, they do the, yeah, they use all the pieces. They make a joke about it in season three. Season three, there's an episode where I think they use puppets and then Bluey's waking up from bed and then you see all the animation pieces move. That style of animation is called puppeting because it's all made with like vector graphics. And then instead of you drawing the character each, instead of drawing like animated cells, like, you know, this, everything is like a, its own. See how far I draw it? I'll draw something over here. Every piece of bluey is like its own chunk. So it's like the head would probably be a chunk. And the eyes are its own chunk. Nose is its own thing. Ears are its own piece. And so you can just like move the pieces. And then it'll look like you're, I mean, you are animating, but you're not drawing it each time. And they can link up these pieces so the skin kind of like moves. It stays connected when they move the head all over the place. So it's called puppeting. You do it in a program called like Adobe Animate or Toon Boom Harmony now they do stuff. They use stuff. All right, let's draw some bingo, or not bingo. Everyone wants a muffin. We shan't, we shan't deny people any longer. We'll get some muffin going on. Let's see though, I need a picture of muffin did not actually practice muffin. Does, oh, you know what happens when you type in muffin? You get pictures of blueberry muffins. All right, should I draw, here's my question. Should I draw muffin angry or like a happy muffin? What do you guys think? If you're watching, vote for me. Happy or grumpy muffin? Muffin's always kind of grumpy, so. Which one should I draw? I can start because it's all the same. Who else? You got Bobby, Hiroko. What do you guys vote on a happy or grumpy muffin? Or the other, my favorite episode with Muffin is the one where Muffin is like a super sleepy because she skipped her sleep. She's going crazy. You know, oh, was it? Coconuts have water in them. That's amazing. Maybe I'll draw both muffins on the same piece of paper, because I'm crazy like that. We'll draw like a happy muffin, a granny muffin. That's a good idea. We'll draw a granny muffin. Once again, granny muffin is just kind of like a square, but muffin's nose is a lot smaller than Bluey's. Maybe that's why it looks so much smaller. And granny muffin, she was wearing like that scarf. $600 bucks. I like how they call everything dollar bucks there. Dollar bucks. Uh, sleepy and crazy muffin. All right. 
we want the crazy muffin. So I'll draw a granny muffin and then we will go to sleepy coconuts have water in them. Coconuts have water in them. I like how Muffin just looks totally crazy in that episode. Like, uh, crashing into the pool. And what what did you say about the, um, flamingo? Like, I'm the flamingo queen. Or something like that. All right, so I got, I'm looking at a picture. I don't have Granny Muffin memorized, despite the fact I would like to. And I kind of do now that I've drawn it. I don't know about you, Bobby, but once I kind of draw something once, I can normally kind of draw it again. Or I can get pretty close. I just have to learn it. That comes from working in all the shows for so many years. Working on uh, Sesame Street, I had to kind of, I can pretty well draw Cookie Monster and Elmo without looking at pictures anymore. And when I was working on other shows for Nickelodeon or Disney, I would, uh, have to practice a bunch like this to figure out how to draw the characters because I wouldn't have time to uh, I wouldn't have time to sit there and look at pictures each time so I'd have to get the hang of it quick well, yeah muffin granny muffin has the purse so it's like I gotta draw I gotta just practice a few times and figure out the shapes the basic shapes and then I'm pretty good to go all right this is Grumpy Muffin. You know, I just realized Muffin's glasses has no, like, thing to hold the eye piece, as you'll see here. I'll ink it here and you'll see. There's no, it's just resting on her nose, I guess. Which is fine. Dog world is, Bluey world is a different world. Physics don't always apply. Yeah, Grumpy Muffin. Look at this. Looking good. Maybe I'll draw Granny Muffin more often now that I know how to do it. What I like to do when I was living at home with my parents was I like to draw little drawings like on post-it notes, but not on the top post-it note, on a post-it note that was in like three or four. So my mom wouldn't find it until like at a later time. So it'd be kind of like a surprise, a surprise drawing tucked away. Oh yeah, look at this. Look how good Grumpy Muffin. Look at that. Looking good. It's also the Muffin episode. Oh, the other one I like, which would have been really complicated to animate, was the one where Muffin is uh, like zooming or like FaceTiming with um, Bluey. And bingo. And then she like dad's trying to take away the phone because she's not sharing it with uh oh, what's bingo's what's muffin's brother's name? The little blue one that bite socks. She won't share with socks. And then dad tries to take it away and then muffin grabs the uh grabs it and runs through the house. I think it's so cool, but yeah, that would be difficult to animate. All right, Muffin's got the same kind of tail as Bluey's got, just shorter. Yeah, I, and they need to do like a Muffin spinoff, but maybe that would be too much Muffin. Muffin would have to like start getting a nicer. It'd be tough to have someone yelling every episode. But I'm really glad they made her a granny. That was amazing. I was so excited when that episode appeared on uh, Disney Plus. I was like, ooh, muffin time. Granny muffin. All right, I don't have a gray color. That's my colored pencils shuffling around. I don't have a gray colored pencil. I'll just use black lightly to give it. I find the more I've been drawing blue characters, they need kind of like the shading to kind of, is this black or purple? What does it say? black they need a little bit of shading to really get the right character look but I'm not I don't want to color at all I just want to have fun drawing bluey characters because I've never done it too much because I you that show you have to live in Australia to work on that show and while I would like to do that that's a quite a trip 
and they're taking like I read the other day that they're taking like a year off. There's not going to be another new Bluey episode for like two years now because they were. It's, everyone wants it to be so good, but they have so much pressure now to make it good that they're uh, taking time off to make it. Make sure they're good. I I, I said I wasn't going to color, but. I gotta color this scarf a little bit. Oh, I gotta color the glasses. So yeah, so how about that? Sleepy Muffin. A sleepy Muffin's coming up next. Just using some colored pencils here, kind of filling it in like that. A little bit of yellow. Oh, I guess the bag needs a little bit of something, something, something. All right, here is a, I'll just do a little bit of, shh, try to see if we get a little gray. A little gray, so it looks more like muffin. There you go. That's about as close as I'm going to get without having to go get actual color. Even though I've already kind of already colored it all. All right, there you go. There is a granny, granny muffin. That sounds like a special kind of dessert, right? Like a granny muffin. Granny muffin. Me, three hundred dollar bucks. All right, we're gonna draw another muffin over here. I'm gonna draw like a bigger one. We'll do coconuts have water in them. Coconuts have water in them. Yeah, I know. You know, it's tough when they're taking a break. I think it's it's difficult, but I think it's a. Uh, you know, you want it to be good, so it's tough, you know? It's like, I don't want them to take a break, but I'm sure it's tough to write. And I know when you're working on, like, a hit TV show, it can be, like, extra hard to keep it really good all the time. So I guess if you need more time, I guess you need more time. But that probably, what that normally means in life is... Normally, they'll come back really ready to do like a whole bunch of episodes. You know, that was not just they'll, they'll, they'll be writing like season four or four and five probably when they're taking the break. They just need inspiration. They need their kids to grow up or do something. Let's see. I'm looking at some pictures of. Uh... Oh, yeah. The crazy eyes. Sleep or she should muffin be yelling, sleepy muffin be yelling or like smiling like she's about to pass out. What do you guys think? So far, I have her kind of smiling, crazy style. I'm gonna go with just smiling, crazy style. I guess I should do one of muffin yelling, because muffin yells a lot. Maybe like yes, yelling. Coconuts have water in them. Yeah, see, the, this is the trick with the boxes. Oh yeah, holding a coconut. That's a good idea. Her body gets so small when her mouth gets big because there's no uh, body down below. <laughs> yeah, so you can kind of bend the square, even though she's kind of a rectangle. You can kind of bend her around to be uh, look like she's curving a little bit. Coconuts have water in them. All right, I can't. I gotta keep, stop saying that, but. We crack up every time we see it here at the house. Sometimes we like leaving it on while we're having dinner. 
because it's so funny. We also like uh, oh, what's the other one? Um, yeah, Bibu Babu. Or maybe she should be maybe instead of holding the c coconut, maybe she's riding the flamingo, which is going super crazy. Totally like freaking out. On the flamingo. Let's do that. Cause I don't think Bingo actually holds a coconut in that episode. She just keeps saying it. Because she's like going crazy. So yeah, I don't know, they're just kind of fun to draw and I don't, you know, a lot of times I'm just kind of working on projects so I'm not just drawing characters for fun. But I watched Bluey so I wanted to be drawing it. So here we go, we got it going on right here. Flamingos, feathers. I used to live down in uh, Florida for college. And right down the street from where I was living was like a, kind of like a tiny zoo. I don't know even what to call it. But they had a lot of flamingos. So I got like a yearly pass. And then I'd go down there all the time and just hang out with the birds. So, all right, we'll start inking it now. Looking good. All right, now we have to talk about what I should be drawing next. What other characters should I be drawing? What's everyone's suggestions? Let's see, maybe I could draw, I should probably draw Bingo or Bandit. Or the other one I really like was a pom pom, and what's the what's the little bulldog's name? Winston. Winton. Winton. Winton is also super funny, but maybe for the sake of the internet, I should be drawing Bingo or Chili. Oh, hey Una, welcome. We're drawing Bluey. Have you ever seen Bluey? I'm just drawing characters. I'm not even drawing a comic today. I'm drawing this character, Bingo. Or not drawing Bingo. You know, sometimes talking and drawing is hard. Your brain kind of like is doing two things at once. Muffin. I'm drawing muffin. Yeah, you could do like a granny muffin. Came out pretty good. I'm drawing them on top of a flamingo. So. Let's see here. Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, unicorns. We should do. We should do unicorns sometimes. That's a good idea, Una. One time I worked on, I had an idea for a coloring book, and it was all like silly unicorns. No, well. You're missing out. Blue is really funny. If you get a chance, I would say watch it. It's really good. I know Rise, it kind of seems like it's like a kid's show for little kids, but it's actually really smart and funny. And you know, even though I work in preschool, I think it's super funny. So give it a try if you get a chance. But no pressure. 
let's see, let's give it a little color. Just a little bit so we can see that it's muffin. A little, muff, muffin's kind of gray all over. This is not really gray, but I don't have a gray colored pencil apparently. So it's becoming light black because I have lots of black marker, colored pencils. All right, just add a little bit of pink for to the ears. I guess since I have the pink, I'll make the flamingo pink quickly and then we'll move on. All right, I'm just doing stuff quick here, so this is it. This is as exciting as it gets. All right, I'll get another piece of paper. All right, oh, paper is kept on the floor. There you go. I need a little drip sink of water. Because I'm talking nonstop. Blah, 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 blah. Like that. Which is all right. All right, bingo. I did one little tiny drawing of bingo. We'll do a better drawing of bingo. Let's see. I gotta put my arm in front to get. Get a picture of bingo up. Bingo. Yay. All right, well, this is just like the other one, though. I, you know, I was telling earlier, all these characters are kind of like, they're kind of square rectangles. And you just change little things on them to get the other characters. Mostly it's you changing colors and stuff. But they're kind of just like big rectangles like this. And then you have another rectangle that's kind of like the nose. And then triangle over the nose, but they got these big eyes. Bingo will be looking at us and jumping like she kind of does in the beginning when they call out her name in the opening credits. Bingo. Yeah, I mean, I can believe you know a lot about it. I think it's pretty popular, so probably just it's kind of everywhere now. Bingo, look, bingo looks pretty good so far. I think in October I'm going to start drawing a bunch of like a uh, Halloween stuff, like Adam's Family, or Hotel Transylvania, all that kind of stuff. Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, here's Bingo's looking pretty good. I have to might have to color this a little bit. Little short fingers. All right, there is the basics of bingo. So very good. I'm gonna get my handy dandy Crayola marker. So you guys still drawing at home? Una, you still drawing? Bobby, you still drawing, doing stuff at home? Has school started for both of you? Or is school starting like this, like tom like next Tuesday or Tuesday? Where are you two at with? School? school going on down here everyone's uh, where I live now everyone's already back in school early start in the south so I'm excited though because that means I can use the pool in my in my apartment building and it won't be crowded but yeah boo is a show I would really like to work on but they don't hire a lot, and they're in Australia. So I'd have to move to Australia, which I would be fine doing. But they don't, uh, a lot of countries want to keep the work, all the talent that is there, which is correct move. So I don't think I'm moving to Australia anytime soon. Nope. 
Bobby's in the car. Are you going somewhere, Bobby? Somewhere fun? I'm impressed you guys are watching from the car. So high tech. I'm sitting at home with the air conditioning on because it's 90 degrees here. But yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. When I was younger, I always wanted to be able to... This is, doing drawings like this of bingo is what I wanted to do when I was a kid. Not of bingo because it didn't exist then. But I always liked... One time I was taking a cartooning class and the teacher drew Bugs Bunny like right in front of me. Oh, climbing? Wow. You guys are out doing some stuff. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be doing more Sunday things, but I scheduled this kind of before I realized that it was holiday weekend. So, you know, that's what happens sometimes. All right, we're going to do some light coloring here. Just to get the general idea. Oh, kind of made a little mistake with the eyes but it'll be okay it has to be just darker so you know so when i was younger i really wanted to just draw cartoons like this one teacher i had that drew like bugs bunny right in front of me it was so cool and he wasn't even teaching me how to draw he just was drawing it to show and i always thought that was so cool so I started drawing all the time. My dad and mom taught me how to, they were draw artists too, so I kind of had all of that going on too. So I had lots of, lots of art going on. And I just kind of kept drawing all the time. And then I was lucky enough to go to college for art, so I just kind of kept drawing. All right, getting Bingo's colors correct is a little tricky, so I'm not gonna do too, go too far into this, because Otherwise, it's going to take the rest of the video just to make these colors correct. And I don't want to spend the time coloring necessarily. You know? I want to do more just kind of fun drawing. Mm, yeah, that's lighter. Oh, battery's going low on my iPad. I'm streaming it off my laptop. And then I am watching the chat and everything on my iPad. That was my what friends have been telling me to do, so it saves the battery and or doesn't clog up the streaming. Uh, doesn't overpower my laptop. Doing both. All right, this is it, Bingo. This is all I'm doing on you. A little bit of this, a little red on the mouth. We got. Oh, the eyebrows, come on. My ears. So many little pieces need to be colored. All right. Bingo. Yay. Bingo. Yay. I'm Bingo. Or Bingo, they say in the beginning. So there's Bingo. So far we've done, let's see, what have we do today? We've done Crazy Muffin, Granny Muffin. We did bluey, and I didn't color bluey in the beginning. That's what we're done so far. Let's see. Who else should we do next? How about we do the bandit, Dad, because I like Dad. He's funny. Can I put this? Does this fit over here a little bit? No, you kind of can't see it. Over here. There you go. We can do that. All right, I gotta, I gotta find a different way to do this so my arm isn't uh, in front of the whole thing. Bandit. I have to look it up. Maybe I'll draw Dad dancing. Dad dancing. It's always funny, right? That's my color. This is my pencil sharpener right here. Pencil sharpener. It's really noisy. All right, I'll get this reference shot set up. Yeah, I've been thinking about doing roll roller blocks, roll blocks for sure. I've been thinking of doing uh, 
rainbow friends or doors would probably be a good idea too. All of that would be good. It's on the list. I'm going to be trying to stream like three times a week, but we'll see if that stays. That's a lot of uh, a lot of streaming, so we'll see. I'm trying to keep it easy and see if we can get it going. But today was so much easier than last time. Last time, I think, Bobby, you were here in the beginning. It was uh, a little rough. Oh, hello, olives and lemons. Doors. All right, if everyone wants doors, I will give the people what they want. We can draw doors, monsters. Yeah, I could do... The gaming stream would be kind of funny because I'd be so bad. I haven't played... The games I'm good at playing are like Zelda and Mario. Like old school. Like I really want to play... Uh, what's the new Zelda game? The... No. Uh, wind Whisper, Wind Take, what is that? Shadow of the Tears, whichever the new one is where you can like build the stuff. You can kind of mod stuff. Last, during COVID, when we were stuck inside in New York City, uh, my wife and I played a lot. Well, the only thing we had was the Wii U, <laughs> which was really old. But we had the Wii U and we had the Zelda game uh, Skyward Sword. I think I, we beat that game like four times during COVID. I could probably beat everybody in my sleep now, the game. But it was fun, and it was the only game station, only game system we had in the house. And when you're stuck at home for a year, you got to do something, right? So we were we became experts in Skyward Sword. We know everything, every hidden thing everywhere. We can find it. Because you beat it and then you still got to play it more, right? Because you're like, what am I going to do for the next month? Yeah, well, maybe we need to all do like a big doors. Like on Twitch, can we have like more people on the stream? Or like uh, YouTube? I was going to look up to see if I could have invite people to the stream on uh, YouTube. I'm not sure about that. There's lots of rules and doohickeys going on I see bandit he's kind of yeah obviously he looks like bluey but now that i'm drawing him he really looks like bluey so i am just looking at a picture and kind of copy the picture i don't know how to draw bandit just like purely off the top of my head dancing but it's fun i find that well, the more i've been drawing bluey it's just all about these individual little shapes like how the mouth works and what the color patterns are, the dots, basically. We watched something the other day on the, um, the these type of dogs, which you'd never heard of before, Bluey, the Blue Healers. A pretty good looking dog. That's why they're, I don't know if you know, that's why they're calling. Oh, Minecraft. Yeah, Minecraft's probably a good idea. I'm trying to do, so what my plan is to be doing drawings, try to do some streams of things that are popular so that we can get more viewers in, right? So yeah, Minecraft would be a good, really good idea. That's why I was kind of doing Bluey. But yeah, I think more gaming stuff is the probably even more popular. I'm trying to find the balance between like things you all want to see me draw and things that I want to draw, right? So a little bit of both. But... If I'm streaming three times a week, I'm going to have need to have a lot of ideas. So, yeah. Minecraft. Uh, tell me what characters you'd want, you want to see, see me draw in uh, Uno. What characters would you want to see me draw for Minecraft? So I can practice. All right. See, Bluey's dad's got the big nose. You see, I got him dancing like he is in the beginning when he's doing kind of a crazy dad dance. I'm going to have to draw the whiskers on him. That seems to be a big dad feature. You know, these are the wrong color. Let's see, we'll do it with pencil so they look not as intense. Alright. It's looking more like dad every moment. Got these big... All the characters have these big kind of jelly bean eyebrows.
right, you get the hand in here, all these little details in the hand. Oh yeah, I got you there, Bobby. Oh yeah, animal. Yeah, I've been for some I was working on something a little while ago. I was gonna do something about like a Minecraft pigs. I was trying to come up with a comic that was like a piggy and Minecraft combined, but I couldn't quite get it to work in my head. All right. Let's see here. So Uno, are you like on the side of a mountain climbing? Is that really what you're doing right now? Or are you like coming home from that? All right, how do I get this uh, drawing? All right, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try this. Fill this all in black. See if I can use like a white pencil to kind of go in and give it a little, these little flakes. Frogs, yes, more frogs. You know where I live, there's a kind of like a marsh out behind us and the frogs are so loud at night. There's just so many frogs. It sounds like, it's like a, I don't even know. It sounds like a, like a, thousands of frogs croaking all at once the first time the first night it happened i actually thought something was like broken in the house and i asked hiroko i was like what is that is that like the refrigerator and she was like no that's the frogs i was like what that's crazy it was it was a lot oh hiroko just came in and joined us i'm just taking a memo Oh, thank you. Hiroko is writing down all these characters so we can remember to draw them. Yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hiroko doesn't know nothing about Minecraft. Nothing. nothing. I like drawing creepers. But animals are always good. They're square. See, it's kind of like bluey. All these bluey guys are kind of square, right? Kind of good. Oh, don't stay on camera. That's the tricky part with these zoom things. You have to be kind of watching the page and then watching the monitor so you can make sure you're not like drawing like way off camera. Yeah, frog concerts are real, especially if it's warm outside. That is some super real noise going on. Thank you for writing that down. Hiroko. Hiroko, do you like Bluey's dad? Bandit? Alright. Alright? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean, alright? He's, he's alright. Alright. Well, I, I like chili better. So. Okay, I will draw chili next then. Alright. What is that? When I is at a climbing club. Oh, cool. Climbing club. You got like harnesses on and everything. Climbing, are you like doing the wall climbing? Like that kind of climbing? All right, here is my bandit. This is as far as we're gonna go right nice. now. Bandit, done. All right. All right, we'll leave that, we'll get another piece of paper. All right. Hiroko says she votes for Chile, which is Bluey's mom. Oh, I got one last little line to do here, like this. Oh, perfect. It wasn't right until I do that one little line. What? Right there. What? It's all right. I do this one little line now. I'm like, this is done now. Okay. Give it a little erase so we don't have to see the pencil lines as much. I don't want to erase too much because then I would erase the face. All right. There. That's all we're doing for Bandit right now. Thank you, Hiroko, for the notes. You're welcome. What, what's one of your more favorite um, chili episodes, Hiroko? I like Mom. the beaches. Yeah. That was cute. And the, the pool. The pool one. Oh, yeah, the pool episode yeah. of Bluey is That's amazing. Funny. I will draw kind of sassy mom. All right, here we go. 
blue yeah the pool episode when no one's listening to mom about like taking all the pool stuff and they go to the pool dad takes them all the girls to the pool and then they're like oh i don't have my floaties they don't have anything i don't have my sandals nothing i don't have nothing <laughs> nothing and then i think Chili has a great role in the uh, Granny episode also. Yeah. And the all, all together, the uh, all over the Bluey episodes, all of them mm-hmm. have great naming on the characters. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, we like... Hmm? Rita and Janet. Amazing. Rita and Janet. I also mm-hmm. like when they... The episode where the creek, where they go to the creek. Oh, yeah. And, and Dad's in the water and they're like, a Cassiopeia. <laughs> Cassiopeia is amazing good amazing naming skill yeah whoever those writers are the naming amazing, amazing. oh somehow Chili's gotten weird on me what is this going on here eyes are too big or something the delicate balance delicate balance of big eyes and not too big All right, there you go. That's more correct. All right, here we go. Getting Chili going. I like how Chili's always, like, athletic. Yeah, she's really cool. And she's, like, going to go play... When she plays lacrosse? What is it Chili plays? I'm not sure. She, she plays soccer or something? I don't know. I don't remember now. Lacrosse? I think I'm she plays sure. lacrosse. She always walks out with the little the thing over her shoulder. Oh, then it must be like Ralston. Yeah. Alright, thank you, Hiroko. You're welcome. For taking notes for a Minecraft episode. Of Anytime. Minecraft. We'll do stream well I'll, try, I'll, I'll have a schedule kind of written out, but we'll go in I'll go in and add some Minecraft to the stream schedule. I'll make some thumbnails for that. That'll be good. We'll do that in the afternoon when everyone's like home from school and it's not too late for Una. We'll get that sorted out. Well, Chili's kind of tough to draw. I don't know why Chili's tough to draw. What is going on? This is the first one I've had any tricky time drawing. It was been pretty smooth. Chili, why are you so complicated to draw? Who knows why Chili is complicated to draw? Sometimes with these things, it's just about getting one little thing wrong or one little thing right, then it looks like it. Okay, so, so far people have been voting for doors. Oh, my iPad's about to die. Hmm. Oh, give me one second to plug in my iPad. It's right here. Plug it in. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're back. We're gonna get this chili drawing done. There we go. Got that done up here. Yeah. See. It is fun. I, I knew this would be fun. I was like, I just have to start doing YouTube Live so I can start drawing characters and hanging out with people, talking about cartoons and shows and stuff, and doing all that. I know you guys are big Minecraft guys, but what other shows are you watching? Anything good? Anything else we should be doing here? I was going to do Minecraft. I said not. Starting for October, we're going to start doing all the Halloween stuff, like a... Snoopy, Hotel Transylvania, you know, Nightmare Before Christmas, all that kind of stuff. I was still also thinking maybe like Adventure Time, or maybe it's just Doors and Minecraft. I was also thinking of doing some Rainbow Friends. All of that kind of stuff. All right, this is, looks like this is pretty good here for Chili so far. Let 
All right, now we're pretty close. Let's see her tail is probably like everyone's tail. Yes. She has little dots on the tail. And there's that. Oh, you know, I should draw socks. And we have muffin, muffin and socks. But I got mom. Mom and dad. Alright, I'm gonna use my Corolla marker again. Get mom. Oh, her nose is. You know, with a lot of bluey characters, they actually don't use a black line. It's all like a dark brown kind of line. Dark brown. So that's why it might look a little weird with the black line instead of this nice color that they normally have on it. I'll have to look up. I don't know what Villager News is. Animated, is that a YouTube show? Luna? Oh, see, it looks like chili now that I'm getting some black lines on it. All right, here we go. We got chili kind of done here. It's a little bit of the sassy dance she does in the beginning. Maybe it's not sassy. It's just a dance she does in the beginning. Oh, that's what I was missing. Those lines of the forehead to make it really look like chili. The other episode I really like is the double babysitters when it's uh, Bennett's brother in the normal babysitter. And they're playing truth or dare. And they're like, Bluey and Bingo are like, why aren't you married? Like right away. Oh, that's a lot right away. All right, there is your race right here. There. How's that look? Oh, I forget one line. There. How's that look? Pretty good. All right, if you're still watching, give me a like. I've had five people watching, which is awesome. But you could all give me a, give the video a like. That would help me grow my YouTube channel. All right. We'll leave that there. So we got. Chili, Bandit, Bingo, or not, that's Bluey, another Bluey, Crazy Sleepy Muffin, Bingo, and Grandma Muffin, Granny Muffin, Granny Muffin sounds, I still think that sounds like a food, they should make, they should make that, alright, who was I going to say, I was going to draw next, Bluey, Bing, bandit. Oh, socks. I'm a fan of socks. I like the early episodes when he was biting everybody. When he was down on like all four legs still. Alright, a little picture of socks. Socks. I'm going to draw socks down on all four because that's how I like them. Even though I know he's kind of standing up now. I like socks down on all four. All right, if you're just joining me, here we go. We've been drawing bluey characters. We got Granny Bingo, Granny Muffin, Bingo. I'm drawing so many characters, my brain is like frying out on the naming. So, you know, it's all good. Uh, you're welcome to join me. Leave a message. Say hi in the chat. 
If you just join me, I'm gonna draw socks now. I'm gonna draw socks when he's still a baby, so he's down on all four legs. He's not standing up yet. I know he's standing up now, but the way I'm drawing him is still baby socks. I like him when he's in the episode with a uh, purple underpants. And he has to pretend that he's sick. And he's biting Bandit all over the place. Because he's still puppy biting people. And Bandit keeps getting bit. It's funny. You know, dogs biting people is not funny. When I was a kid, I used to be like really scared of dogs. Because I was bit a few times by dogs. Because I was delivering newspapers way back in the day. And so the dogs would run up and try to get me because I was coming up to the house. So I spent most of my childhood kind of afraid of dogs. Like really scared of dogs. But I think that's why they would get nervous around me because they could they could smell my nervousness. They could sense the sense the fear. So I was scared all the time with around dogs. Anytime I saw a dog near me I was a little scared. And then um, the way I kind of got over my fear of dogs, because it would be bad. I'd go to like parks and I'd have to like, I'd want to be on the other side of the walk from the dogs. And it was hard to go anywhere with me because I was always like, oh no, there's dogs. Eee! But uh, the way I got over my fear of dogs, it wasn't until I was like out in college or out of college. So I was scared all through college, high school, scared of dogs. And then when I got out of college, I was moving down to Texas for a job and I was staying with my good friend from college and he didn't tell me that he had a dog but he was like oh come down to Texas and you can like move in with me and I was like great little did I know that he had a dog so I showed up after driving all the way from New York State down to Texas and I showed up at his house and there was the dog was living in the house I was like oh no I can't do it but you can't say that because he's letting you stay with him. So I was really scared. But I learned how to live with dogs. And they're great. That was a, the dog I learned to love was one called Abby. And she was a chocolate lab. And she was super friendly and chill. So it was good. But it was pretty scary when you're scared of dogs to be living with a dog. Right? So that's how that worked. All right, socks is also a little tricky to draw. I'm not quite getting it right, the dimensions on the head. Oh, we got seven people watching. Well, if you just joined me, tell me what some of your blue, favorite Bluey characters are or who you'd like to see me draw. So far, I'll show you my list after I'm drawn. I've been drawing Muffin and Bluey and Bingo and Bandit and Chili. So let me know if there's someone else. I'm drawing socks right now. As you can see, I got Granny Muffin. Oh, maybe I should draw the Granny Girls. The Bluey and Bingo is uh, grannies. Because who doesn't love the grannies, right? So we were up to seven viewers there for a moment. It's a new record for me. Maybe we can get up to like ten. That's why I'm going to start streaming more so we can get these, get more people into drawing so we can all hang out and draw. Because you're welcome to draw at home with me or just leave this on on the background. I kind of think of it as kind of like chill and draw. Because I don't want to really be like giving instructions. I don't like instruction. I don't want to follow so many people. There's tons of videos for that. You want instructional videos? You can do all the. Oh, yeah, mom. Oh, thank you. Uh, Luminati music. Thank you for the nice sketch. I've been drawing my whole life. I've been working in animation for a long time. I've worked for Sesame Street, Disney, Nick Jr. I draw storyboards, so I'm drawing all, all the time. That's my day job. Of course, it's kind of tough as a day job right now because the, uh, you know, Hollywood's on strike, so there's not a lot of work going on. Oh no. Mm, hold on. Oh, we're still drawing. Hiroko!
Hiroko, are you using your iPad? My iPad just died, but that's the only where I see the chat. What do you need? Can I see the video with the chat so I can see the chat? Mm -hmm. Thank you. This just died. I forgot to plug it in. Okay. Here. Thank you. Yay. It's tiny, but. That's alright. I just have to see the okay, chat. Anything? That's all I need. Yep. Good. Thank you. Okay. So I take your iPad. You can okay. watch the TV or whatever you got to do out there. Awesome. Alright. Now we're going to do a little inking on socks. All right, here we go. I'm using a Crayola marker. I like using just stuff you have at home. I don't think you need fancy, uh, fancy materials. Sure, you can have fancy art supplies. And yes, my colored pencils are, you know, fancy art pencils, but markers, whatever, it would all kind of work. I always tell people, I think the main thing with getting better at drawing is just sinking in practice time the more you practice the better you're gonna get it's kind of I always think of it when I tell people uh, like it's kind of like like a Final Fantasy or something just the more grinding the more hours you're doing it the better your results are gonna be I've just been drawn for like 40 years so I've got a lot of practice behind me and I've been really lucky in that my jobs have also involved drawing. I've also done a couple of picture books. So I've just been draw I draw a lot. That's why for YouTube I wanted to do something fun to draw stuff that I don't get to normally draw. I normally get to have to draw specific things. You know, like the show I'm working on. I can't talk about the show I'm working on, but I got to draw those specific characters. You know? You see, Socks looks like he's got little socks on. So cute. Eee! All right. This is kind of Socks. Socks got a funky pattern on his tail. Kind of wavy. All right, there we go. Socks. I want to erase the pencil lines. So I erased one little line. There, that they actually need that. It's amazing it doesn't look like it correct. Yes, alumin uh Illuminati music, yes. I've worked with Disney. I worked on a show called Tots that's on Disney Plus. It's a preschool show. I worked with Nick Jr. on a show called Encantos, which was like a music singing thing, also preschool. I worked with Sesame on Cookie Monster and Elmo stuff. All that. Oh, we can do it here. I was going to show you. I did do a drawing of Chili right there. Boom. But we can do another Chili drawing. Because I think chili's fun to draw. I want I want to do one more thing to this, and give it a little bit of darkness so it looks more correct. Yeah, I draw storyboards. That's my job. I draw storyboards for these shows. So I'm drawing all the time. Storyboarding is a lot of drawing. So I'm drawing for a lot of hours, but it's fun. I like doing it. It's good. I like drawing cartoons all day. I like working on big shows. I've also worked with uh, Coco Melon a couple times, which is pretty interesting. So, all right, here's a more accurate socks. All right, good. This is where we'll leave socks. Socks. Oh, no, one last thing. Sorry. There, now. It looks just like socks, right? Before that line drawing, it didn't look like socks. But now it does. So, there's socks. Good, chili. We can do another fun chili drawing. I did this one of chili dancing before. But now we'll do one more. Let's see. You want some quick sketch you said of chili drawing? Let's see. 
Any ideas of what you want her to be doing? Any suggestions? I could draw mom as a police officer from the, uh, the muffin no sleep episode. Police officer, what else we got here? Uh, oh, I don't want to draw a young mom or mom's sister. Maybe we'll draw a police officer, Chili. How's that sound to everybody? Or I could, uh, mom on the beach with the hat? Well, what do you think? Mom on the beach or police officer mom? What do you guys, whoever comments first, that's what I'll be drawing. Police officer or a mom on the beach? Let me know and we'll draw it. Beach or police officer? Those, those are your options. No one's voting, it might become beach mom. Where's the mom? Beach. All right, here we go. Beach mom. Yeah, Chili looks the same. She's got on the big floppy hat. All right, I'm drawing mom Chili at the beach, but we're just going to do a quick sketch. Keep it kind of loose. We'll make it a little faster instead of like these super rendered kind of things I'm doing. We'll make it more like a storyboard. Loose and quick. Yeah, mom on the beach. Yay. That's the correct choice because that's what I started drawing. We'll have her holding a bingo for fun. Yeah, I really love that beach episode. I like watching walking the beaches too. The more beach I can walk, the better, the better I feel. I haven't been to a beach yet this summer, but we were kind of moving this summer, so we haven't had much of a chance to go to the beach. But I'm actually hoping to go to the beach soon. In a little, like not today or anything, but this month, it'll be less crowded anyways. Which would be nice. Have you guys been to the beach this summer so far? I think that's also why I like the Bluey episode really captures the feeling to me of the walk on the beach. It has that nice feel. And mermaids with legs. And I like that big old pelican on the beach. It's fun feels real. And the surfer girl that runs by. All right, see, there we go. Bluey's in the arms. Bluey's got the little face makeup. It's funny, their noses are so far out, it's kind of tough to get them right next to each other. I had that problem when I was working on co Cocoa Melon. Their heads are so big when they hug, it's kind of hard for their arms to reach because their heads are so big. All right, Bluey's mom, Chili's sun hat is on. Oh, I like the beach episode. Good suggestion. All right, we'll just we'll crop it here like this. I don't have to draw the lakes. What are some people's other favorite episodes? I really love anything with muffin, and as a general rule, and I like the beach. And I like, uh, what was, oh, purple underpants. I like purple underpants a lot. That's really funny. Also, what was the one I watched the other day for fun was the, uh, the queen, when they're all pretending to be queen, but they all want it, Bluey and Bingo want to be the butlers. And then the dad was queen, but he was really bad. And then eventually... Mom became queen. Chili became queen. That one's really good. Oh, and I really love, uh, yeah, I guess the first grannies. All right, bye. Bye, Una. Thank you for joining me. Have fun climbing. Don't fall. So let me know some of your favorite episodes of Bluey. Maybe we can get some in here. All right, Chili's here. Look at that. She's got Bluey in her arms. 
at the beach. My problem is when I go to the beach, I sometimes forget to put on sunscreen and then I get like burned. And I become like pink. I haven't gotten sunburned yet this year, but that's because I haven't really been going to the beach. So it's kind of the same reason. All right, look at mom's looking good in the sun hat. All right, I'm going to ink this real quick. I'm going to use the Crayola marker because I like using Crayola markers. Boop. So beach episode is really good. They're all really good. I also like the one over there at the Chinese restaurant. It's pretty funny. Well, it's crazy. I really like camping episode. It's good. Yeah, see, make sure you gotta make sure the eyeballs are looking at each other. That's important. It sounds simple, but it's not always easy to do for some reason. Sometimes things can be a little tricky to uh, get the right. I focus. See, look at this curly marker. It gets these little tiny lines and the big fat lines. That's what's amazing about it. So don't be afraid just to use supplies you got around the house. Here we go. She's got just dots on her toes, what I've been doing. I wonder if you're still watching or you just joined, give me a like. I could use some likes to, for my YouTube channel or subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm going to be doing live streams very often. I'm hoping at least a couple times a week with different things. Sometimes we're drawing comics. Sometimes we'll be drawing a bunch of people this time requested some Minecraft. In October I'm going to be drawing a bunch of Halloween stuff like uh, Hotel Transylvania or Never Before Christmas, whatever. I'm open to suggestions. So if you have any ideas you can let me know. Maybe it'll work its way in. I'm not promising anything but you know, if I'm streaming a couple times a week, I'll be looking for ideas for sure. So it's good. All right, I'm going to draw this line down here. Oh, maybe I don't know. We'll leave it for the moment. Oh, there you go. It looks pretty good. At one point today, we we're almost up to seven people watching. But now we're down to three. Oh, well. That's what happens. You got to start streaming so people start finding you. You know, it's a ongoing. Ongoing. It's not going to... What people keep telling me, you're not going to build your YouTube channel overnight. It takes a little while. So I'm going to start streaming a lot. So come join me if you'd like. If you'd like to see more, I'm open to suggestions. I'm trying to give people what they want. Whatever they want to see. Me draw. I just got a thin. There, that's kind of chilly and bluey at the beach. All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up. But give me a like, follow if you haven't been following. This is what we drew today. We drew um, the beach, bingo, and mom. We drew, or I drew socks. 
Jilly. Dad. Uh, crazy Sleepy Muffin. Granny Muffin. Bingo. Bingo, let's see. Let's see what our Illuminati music asked me a question. Let me see what that is here. Oh, so my path to becoming a professional working in animation was I started, I was just kind of kept drawing when I was young, like a kid, and I was taking art classes, but I was just mainly just drawing at home all the time. And then I, after like high school, I went to an art college and I went in for illustration, but nowadays I would probably have gone in for animation. And I did a four year art college. I got my bachelor's degree in illustration. And my roommates all, we all got jobs working in animation one way or the other. So my first job was actually from my college roommate was working at a company and then they needed help. And so I started working for a company called uh, Real Effects. They do movies now. Back when I was working with them, it was commercials. And I would be doing commercials. I did like a SeaWorld commercial and local car company commercials. And what else was I? Chuck E. Cheese. I worked for Chuck E. Cheese for a little while doing videos and stuff. And then after that, I moved up to New York City and I was couldn't find any work. And then I got work working at the Children's Museum of New York. And then I got lucky and I got a job up at Blue Sky, which is the companies that did Ice Age and robots. I worked on robots for a little while, which was super fun. And then I started just um, doing, getting on the other TV shows around New York. This is all preschool stuff. It was in New York. So I was working with Sesame Street a lot. So that was kind of my path. I just kind of kept drawing and kept drawing. If I was to do it today, I would be drawing and posting on social media a lot and looking into maybe getting going in art college, but just having fun drawing. The more you draw, the better you get. It's just, that's, that's the basics of it. So there's so many videos you can watch these days online. You know, I think that would be good, great. So I'd say, and in France, you guys have a huge animation thing going on over there. There's lots of companies over there. Um, so I would say just keep drawing and keep trying and looking online. I say France specifically, like all the, I think, all the Minion movies are done over there. Sing. Uh, that whole company called Illumination is over in France. I think Paris, outside of Paris. I'm not totally sure. There's a big animation festival in France called Annecy, which is over in the spring, over in the east side. I cannot remember. the. T oh, it's in Annecy. Duh. It's in Annecy. So there's lots of stuff. You know, there's lots of cool galleries, all that kind of stuff. But mainly, just keep drawing, have fun drawing, and uh, do that. I hope that answers your question, Illuminati Music. Thank you for asking the question. I think that's it for me today, folks. I'm kind of tired. I've been drawing Bluey for an hour and a half. So I'm going to sign off. But please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Give me a like. I'm going to be doing a lot more lives i'm hoping to do two or three a week so i'll see you back then thank you everyone bye